won't you pull me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck. Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have got your cleaning, decluttering, and organizing motivation in the most realistic way, which is in little pockets of time over several days, because that is how I realistically get things done at this stage in life. I am tackling things that needed to be done probably weekly. They're getting done more like monthly, if that, and I'm trying to get better at that. And then we are going to be decluttering and reorganizing it two or three spaces in my room switching out some things in closets and just getting some things done that I know you guys are probably doing or have on your to-do list right now. So we're going to do them together. And then I'm going to share with you guys my 30-day declutter challenge as we declutter our way into Christmas and the holiday season. I'm going to be sharing that and leaving a link for my little worksheet in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. No, it is way too late, but... I just can't get my eyes of you Maybe we will regret this But tomorrow is another day And I will do anything I will do anything to get your love Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in So wish me good luck yeah, gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. So starting off first thing, I am putting together this two-tier under sink organizer. I was approached by a Amazon company that features and specializes in home organization products, and they sent me this product, and then I'm going to share one more product with you guys here in a minute. And I wanted to show it to you guys to see if it was something you might want to use for organization. Clearly under this cabinet needed major help, so I was super excited to be able to pick from several products products that they were going to send me so that I could share it with you guys. So I put it together, tested it out for you guys, and then I'm going to give you my honest opinion of it. But first of all, super easy to put together. There was not much to it, as you guys kind of saw in those clips. It was very easy. It probably took me five, maybe ten minutes. So one thing that I loved about this organizer is it is an adjustable two-tier, so you can adjust it to the height of the sink and cabinet that you're putting it into, and then you can put it on um, either side. I think you would have to flip it, um, put it together a different way if you wanted it on the other side. So you have to make, pay attention to which way, because I was going to put it over here and then realized it was going to slide the wrong direction. So you have to pay attention to that, but I think it will go any way you want it to go. Just pay attention to where you're going to be putting it, but super easy to put together and you will see all the things that I am able to do and put inside this. One downfall that I saw of this is I couldn't find a way to connect it to the bottom of my cabinet, so I had to make sure it was bumped up against the lip so it didn't slide around. There were some suction cups, but it was just not going to work for my space, so maybe that would be something that would work for you. But overall, these were a great solution for helping me get this whole mess of a cabinet organized. So I was very excited to work with this company and get this product to share with you guys. So if you're looking to kind of organize yourself going into the new year or going into the holidays and you need some organization solutions, this is an option. I tell you guys all the time though, you do not have to have fancy organizers, but this actually really did help and create some extra space for me. And then I also was able to move things around and get some stuff out of this cabinet that did not need to be in it. So we were really able to tackle this cabinet, make it look a whole lot better and a lot more functional for me and my needs. Because it's on
to take with me when I clean, so I'm gonna put it in another location. I feel like this is so much better. Now I'm gonna move over into my kitchen and there was this drawer that was just needing some help. I had some organizers in place, but they just weren't quite working for me the way I was hoping. So I picked out this expandable organizer, hoping that I would have to use less organization type things. But some of these drawers do need help with some division of different types of things. Otherwise, it's just a big catch all, throw it all in, dig around situation. So that is why I thought maybe this will help. I had two organizers in there and still things outside of the organizer. And I loved that this thing would expand to the ex the full length of my drawer. And I've noticed that it is not moving around. Like it does not move around at all. And I am really enjoying that. So I'm gonna go through, and as I'm doing this, I'm decluttering a couple of items as well. Just keeping what I need in this drawer and and trying to get rid of a couple of things because again I am doing this decluttering challenge alongside you guys and I'm just trying to declutter drawers and cabinets and spaces all over my house a little bit at a time. And then this just kind of made separation of everything better so it wasn't all jumbled together. Whereas in those just three little sections, everything was jumbled together. Here I can see things better. Um, I was probably not going to be able to put everything back in here with this if I didn't declutter or move something. So... And then this is kind of a jumbled thing back here, but these are like least used items or bigger items or oddly shaped items. And then now I kind of group things kind of together like wine openers, uh, ice tongs, peelers, own little, I can't even, whisk, there's, there's the word. <laughs> Anyways. Much better. I will leave these products linked in the description box below in case you guys are interested in what I loved about them is that they were all very functional, practical, and very 
reasonably priced. There was nothing astronomical about buying these things. So if you're interested at all, great. They are listed down in my description box below. Click the link and you'll find out more information on Amazon. If not, no worries. We are moving on into another day. And I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the description box below or not the description box. Let me know in the comments box below. Do you guys have things you do weekly, monthly? Do you have things you wish you did or things you know you need to be doing? I wish I had like a routine, like a set routine of what I do when I do it. I cannot do that right now at this stage of life. Things are just too um, unpredictable a lot of times and I cannot set like a good cleaning routine. So I just do what needs to be done, make a to-do list and go from there. So I do not have a set routine of I do this on Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, or I do this every week or on a certain day or anything like that. But I want to do a better job of, I would like to weekly dust. That's probably not practical. So I've been doing monthly dusting and that is what I'm doing and it builds up more than I want to. <laughs> I would love to ideally, like I said, do it every week, but it just doesn't always happen. Some weeks it does, some weeks it doesn't. So I am going through and I am using my Swiffer duster for most of this and I am just getting all of the dust cleaned up and then I'm going to run my robot vac while I am doing the dusting as well as going through and vacuuming in my kids rooms. I will dust all of my kids rooms fans. I may show you me doing it once. You don't need to see me do it in all of the rooms. So but that is what I'm going to do on this day. My goal was to dust and vacuum after I was done dusting and kind of get that all cleaned up and also working on doing our sheets in our bedroom. Now that I've dusted everything, I'm quickly picking everything up off the floor or putting it back in the room it belongs in so that I can start my shark robot vacuum. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I am gonna move on into doing some pledging. Now that all the dusting is done, 
I am going to pledge and wipe down all of the wooden pieces in my bedroom and I love using pledge and that lemon scent. I don't know. There's something about it. But anyways, I have learned a trick and I learned it through trial and error is make sure when you're doing it, most of the time I spray that pledge directly on my cloth. Otherwise it goes everywhere and gets everything. Um, so just a little FYI. This is something I found at TJ Maxx. It is another room linen spray that I love spraying on my bed. After I make it, it was in a scent peony and it is so fresh and just oh, relaxing. I just love a good room linen spray to spray on my bed after making it. And then it smells amazing when you climb into it in the evenings. There is nothing better. Let me know in the comments below, do any of you guys use linen spray or room spray to spray on your bed after you make it? I know I've seen some people do it here on YouTube, but I don't know if a lot of people do that or not. My mom knew nothing about that kind of stuff. I've kind of put her onto it now too as well. But I am just going through and pledging, wiping down our bed and nightstand and any any piece of wood in our bedroom and then we are going to move on to the other bedrooms but as you'll see my little shark is working I love that it is working for me in the background and I am not having to vacuum this room I will vacuum in my kids rooms because I don't let the shark go outside of this room on this particular day I just because my kids rooms I don't think all of them were picked up and so I would just close the door behind me and let it run just in my bedroom Brace yourself. We have now moved into my middle child's room and here is his nice furry fan. I leave the fans running in all the rooms. Everyone's fan is always going pretty much 24-7. So we do not know that the dust has built up. So note to self, we need to be turning our fans off. And then like I said earlier, doing a bi-weekly, weekly, some more consistent plan of dusting. I am working on it. What is some sort of task that you are working on putting into your routine more routinely <laughs> than you are doing now, more consistently than you are doing now? Dusting is definitely one of them. We have gotten an air purifier and we are just trying to work on things like this. So I have got to get a hold of this. But again, if you leave your fans going, you do not see this. So make sure you're turning your fans off and don't do what I have done and let them build up because the fan is always moving. So we are knocking off that inch of fur off the fan and then I'm going through vacuuming this up and I'm going to repeat in each of my child's rooms. We've got, this is my middle child's room. I've got two more children's rooms to do. What can I do? What can I do? When your dream gone. I don't want to go back, back. Don't want to go back. If you are not with me.
we have now moved into another day and it is another task at hand. I have really been trying to focus on not overwhelming and stressing myself out to get everything done every day. So that is why I've really been trying to take it one little task at a time. Some days I can get more done than others. I talk about that all the time, but I want to make sure that you guys realize that too is don't over exert yourself. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to get it all done. Everyone has so much going. You may be trying to get it all done and a working mom, or you may be a stay-at-home mom and feel like you never get enough done. There are so many different scenarios here, and just remember that the overwhelm is real and not to let yourself go there. Stress yourself out. Compare yourself to other people. Like these YouTube videos, for example, a lot of the creators I watch, I love watching them, but then I'm like, man, I can't get done what they get done in a day. Like, what is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with me. Maybe they have more energy. Maybe they are stopping and going just like I am. I stop and go all the time. I cannot just sit here and plow through and get everything done all at one time. It, it's not realistic. So just drop those expectations and do what you can do and don't worry about the rest. So today we are switching his sheets and then we are going to jump into his closet. And then of course I had to fix his Christmas tree. He knocked it over and if I didn't fix it, nobody was going to. But I do not clean his room. I help him from time to time on occasion when he's completely overwhelmed. But he is responsible for his room. So the closet is where we are jumping next after getting all of this tidied up real quick. Okay, today's decluttering organizing project is weeding out anything I know does not fit him and decluttering that into the hand-me-downs and then pulling the fall winter stuff down. I think it's finally time, even though random days we're still hitting the 80s, but that's what I'm doing is shifting his closet, decluttering anything that doesn't fit him anymore and then putting it over in the too small bed and then just kind of tidying out his closet. And that is all we're doing. Eventually this season during all of the decluttering challenges that we're doing, I do need to get up in all of this and it will be a whole thing. So we will declutter toys, books, you name it. And we'll really get this closet decluttered before Christmas arrives. And he just had a birthday. So it's kind of the perfect time, but today simply focusing on the clothes. And very quickly, I'm going to introduce to you guys my 30-day declutter challenge. I did a poll on my community tab. Always head over to my community tab on my YouTube profile and check out the different polls and things. I love asking you guys for your opinions. You guys said you would love some type of decluttering challenge leading into the holidays. So here it is. This is what I am going to use to declutter for 30 days or you can go as long or as short as you want and just decluttering different areas of the the of your house and trying to just get as decluttered and light as possible before the holidays. So check that out. I'm going to leave them in the description box below. There's two links. One, if you just want to download it, print it off and be done with it. Or if you want to go to Canva, you can download it there and edit it and make it your own personal, whatever spaces you want to put in there. Totally up to you. Let me know in the description box below. If you are joining me, type in a declutter challenge or challenge or whatever it is. Let me know you've printed off the worksheet and you're going to go through it with me. I'd love to know that I have friends joining me as we get decluttered and declutter our way into Christmas. And then the stuff hanging right here in the front is his outfits for the week with those little dividers. That system has been working awesome. I will link those dividers below in case you're wanting something simple for your kids to get ready. Oh, sorry. In case you're wanting something simple for your kids to plan out their outfits for the week, this is working awesome. These are too small. Keeps pulling this pair back in and they're too small. Oh. Just this outfit. Well, I'll just leave it. Family pictures are coming. <laughs> Got a little section over here that I want him to try on. These front couple of things. 
So I put those jeans over there too. I think they're too small. I think they're too short. Okay, so pants, shorts are done and easy. Just lifted up all the super obvious jean shorts are ones I know he won't wear. He still wears some of the athletic-y type ones, some, and then he doesn't have a lot of pants, but so it is. I'm gonna tidy this up a little bit and see if I can weed anything out here. And then I'm gonna kinda call it good for now. That's all I really have time to do. And at least the seasons are changed. Lots to talk about in today's video. I want to know as I'm going through these pajamas, I was thinking Christmas pajamas, Christmas decor. When do you guys start decorating for the holidays? Have you already decorated? Are you a purist? Do you wait until after Thanksgiving? Do you do before Thanksgiving? I am curious. And if you do before Thanksgiving, what is your reasoning behind it? Have you always done it that way or is it a more recent thing? I find myself doing it earlier and earlier as I get older. I think mainly because because of my kids and I want to enjoy it longer because you put so much effort into it. So let us know in the comments below, when do you start decorating and getting into that really good Christmas spirit? So this is what the rest of his room looks like and he can deal with that when he gets home. I do change his sheets for him and I did make his bed this time for him. These are going away. <laughs> this is from like his birthday. But how much better does that look? Again, a couple of things I want him to try on, but then I brought down all of his winter fall stuff right here. And then left a couple of t-shirts down, then shifted everything that's out of season up. Same here. Shorts went up. Pants down here. And then also this is where he plans his outfits for the week. Just tidied up through here. I didn't do anything. Those are swimsuits. Tidied up pajamas. Didn't see anything to weed out yet because, again, I mean, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. Underwear, and then I did go through his socks and then add another pair. He is on the verge of sizing out of a lot of these socks, so that's why I bought another pack. And I've been weeding things out as they've been worn or torn, but also as I'm seeing him get real close to being too, <laughs> too big for some of those. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to do this another time. This was important because of the change of seasons. So do what's important to you. It doesn't have to be perfect. This was important today. He needed his sheets changed, needed his clothes changed. And then I've got a little more time, so I may find another little small project that I can do without getting into anything too deep. And then I'm getting ready to hang their Christmas things up and take their fall down. We are gonna slowly transition into Christmas. However, because we do not celebrate Halloween, our tradition has become, they get to put up their little Christmas trees in their rooms on Halloween instead, since we don't celebrate. And again, no shame if you do or don't. I would just sharing that this is why this is up. We put that up on October 31st. And I also love to be able to enjoy the Christmas decor a lot longer. So they are going to do that. I mean, they get to do that every October 31st. And then this will go up on their door here very soon. Thank y'all so much for stopping by today, friends. I know your time is valuable, so I appreciate so much every moment that you spend on my video. It helps out my channel so much. If you like today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you in our growing YouTube community. And until next week, friends, take care.